In this video, we're going to discuss SCRs. SCR stands for Silicon Controlled Rectifier, and these are the devices responsible for converting the AC line input into a variable DC voltage. But before we can talk about SCRs, we first have to understand diodes. Diodes are electrical components that allow electricity to flow in only one direction, similar to a check valve in a plumbing system. As shown in this illustration, when the AC waveform is positive and current wants to flow forward, the diode allows the current to go through. But when the AC waveform is negative, the current wants to flow backwards, and so the diode doesn't allow any current to flow. Now imagine if you connected four diodes like so. This is called the diode bridge. A diode bridge converts the negative parts of the AC voltage to positive. This type of output is called rectified AC. And that's why a diode bridge can also be referred to as a rectifier bridge. Now what if you could turn a diode on and off? So current would only flow in one direction still, but it would only flow when you wanted it to as well. This is what an SCR is. A diode with a third leg, called the gate, which is an input signal to tell an SCR when to turn on. Now let's go back to our rectifier bridge and replace the two diodes that handle the incoming portion of the line voltage with SCRs. We can now use the SCRs to vary the output voltage, which in turn varies the speed of a DC motor. If we fire the SCRs at their maximum firing angle with a 115 volt AC line, SCRs are rated for an output of 90 volts DC. With a 230 volt AC line, the output is 180 volts DC. As we turn the SCRs down, the average voltage to the motor lowers, and the DC motor speed will decrease. So even though an SCR drive's output is technically a chopped up rectified AC line voltage, the motor sees 120 of these chopped pulses per second if using a 60 Hz AC line, which is fast enough that the motor behaves as if it's really seeing DC.